Alright guys, uh, before we get started, as you can probably tell, I am now recording off of a capture card, yes. Uh, so very, very special thanks to Christopher Savigny, Sharafadine Friteurs, Christian Dorflinger, and Maxwell Cody for their very generous donations. Uh, really appreciated, I wasn't expecting that at all, but... Uh, that's that's really special so thank you guys um, today we're gonna be looking at the fake antivirus antivirus security pro and this has actually been out for a little while but it's been kinda finicky to work with uh, it doesn't work in virtual machine and I've tried to record it before but I really didn't like the way it came out so it kinda got put on the back burner but now I think it is time to look at it so we'll go ahead and fire up the computer And just an FYI, I'm using an Avermedia Game Broadcaster HD. Yeah, it has VGA and HDMI input, but uh, won't be broadcasting any games, I don't think. So, go ahead and fire up the computer here. Starting Windows. So we start up, and as you can see, we already have uh, shortcuts on the desktop for Antivirus Security Pro, and it initiates a scan. It's going to find some files here. The Malware Security Suite. We'll just go ahead and look at the program while this is going on. Uh, we'll go to General. Pretty standard. Has a quarantine. A little different. Got some updates, got a log, got some configuration stuffs. Oh, can't configure anything. And uh, we got some help, which closes the program for some reason. What the hell? What happened? Why did that happen? What the fuck? What the shit? Huh? Okay, uh, I guess the program crashes on its own somehow. I'm gonna leave that in the video. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen generally. But apparently the whole program will crash sometimes. That's kind of a problem. Well, for them it's kind of a problem stuck. Oh, Explorer is having an issue. Okay. So as you can see, uh, why can't we open saw? There we go. So as you can see, it's not allowing me to run any programs, generally, unless if the entire thing crashes, then it'll allow programs. So we'll just continue from there. Um... So it's got its own, like, fake action center icon. Looks a little different than the real one, so that's kind of cool. We'll show that icon. Oh, it's not going to show up. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else? We were trying to go to help, and it crashed the entire program. Not this time, though. Unfortunately. We'll continue unprotected. And uh, really confusing box art here. I mean, what would you guess the title of this program is? It certainly wouldn't be Antivirus Security Pro. You'd probably think Pro Antivirus Security or Antivirus Pro Security or Security Antivirus Pro, but not Antivirus Security Pro. So weird. Okay. Close that. We've got some languages. So there they are. Uh, we'll try to remove threats. And it just can't repair them, unfortunately. What a shame. Can't repair any of these, really?
Couldn't fix a Ramnit or Dork Bot. Guess not. Repaired zero. Way to suck. Okay. So, as you can probably tell, uh, it just kind of kills every process. Let's go ahead and try booting into safe mode. See what this thing can do. This computer is kind of finicky with F8. Should do it. There we go. We'll do regular safe mode. Okay, so we're booting up. Please wait. Welcome. It is welcoming us. Okay have mouse movement that's good and I don't have mouse movement anymore what happened it has actually rebooted the computer and this happens in all of the safe modes I've tried this earlier so you're not going to be able to get in a safe mode with this on here so we're gonna have to get rid of it in normal mode somehow we'll give it a try why not And you can see the same thing happening in um, a lot of those FBI ransomwares will do this. Where they don't allow you to boot in a safe mode. It'll just kick you out immediately. So we'll go fire up Internet Explorer at some point. There we go. And it does allow us to open the browser, which is convenient. So let's go ahead and tr try to get a Malwarebytes Chameleon. Or, well, I guess if Command Prompt doesn't stop crashing. Malwarebytes.org. What do we got? Ignore. For home. Other tools. Ignore. Chameleon. Can we download it? Come on. Yes! It actually works this time. Holy shit. Okay. So we're able to download Malwarebytes Chameleon. Just go ahead and unzip it. And we'll... And I figured this out, actually. You're supposed to run all of this with this chameleon.chm file. Because this will open. And then... Well, if it works, of course. It's kind of funny how this thing doesn't work when it's on camera. Okay, so what's supposed to happen... So there's all these buttons, and you just click them, and it opens all of the uh, executables. So you can get around stuff. So we'll continue unprotected, of course. We'll try the first file. Is it going to run? No. How about the second one? No. How about the third one? No. Fourth one? No. Fifth one? Yes, it will. So it will download itself. It's running malware bytes. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. So I guess it's updating. There's the updater. Okay. Okay, killing known malicious processes, is it going to work? And bam, killer.exe, apparently. Oh, shit, it actually killed it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Can we open Task Manager? Yes, we can. All right. So MBAM Killer is doing its job. Nice. So 
So we are waiting on it to finish killing the known malicious process. Open up some solitaire, why not? Oh, it's one draw, I think. Or, it's not Vegas. Start a new game. What do we got? We done yet? No, we're not. So yeah, apparently you're supposed to use this card for, like, games or something. Nah. Nah, we don't need to do that. Nope, it's doing something. Trying to run malware bytes, apparently. Oh, there it goes. Oh my god. So it has started some kind of scan. Quick scan, apparently. Okay, so our quick scan has now wrapped up. Click OK. Show results. It has found 17 infections. Jeez. Guess it downloaded some other stuff with it. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and remove selected. Must restart immediately. Close the log. Yes to restart now. And that will wrap it up for Antivirus System or Security Pro. Um, Again, thank you so much to the people I just mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, I probably won't talk about donations again for a very long time. I'm going to leave the link in the channel description. Probably. Just to help with site stuff, but I'm not going to mention it in videos anymore. Uh, no, I really, really appreciate it. I think this is going to make the videos a lot better. And as you can see, fake antivirus is gone. Well, except for the shortcuts. There's always the shortcuts. I guess you can still get to the support page. And uh, one more thing about this fake antivirus. There's an uninstall page. Excuse me. And you're supposed to specify your reasons for uninstalling, download some file, and then run it, and then it'll uninstall the rogue. So we'll go ahead and just try to download this. Put some text in there, download now. Oh, and it does nothing. Maybe it needs more text. Bunch of text, download now. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay. And, like I said, that'll wrap it up for Antivirus Security Pro. Thank you very much for watching. And see you soon.